Hello and welcome to Ms. Miller's classroom. This lesson is all about using semicolons so that we can look smarter in our writing. So by the end of this lesson, you will be able to correctly use a semicolon in a sentence, excellent, and you will be able to identify and fix incorrect semicolon use when you see it because everybody loves a grammar Nazi. I can attest to that. So why use semicolons? The main reason we want to learn to use semicolons correctly is so that we can write better, more complex sentences, but we also want to make our writing look and sound more advanced. Um, for some of you, the main reason you might want to be learning how to use semicolons is so that you can answer the questions on the ACT English, question, on the ACT English test correctly. Um, there are usually several questions, four or five, that pertain specifically to semicolon use. But I think the most important reason to learn to use semicolons is so that you can be cooler than your friends. So there are two main reasons that we use a semicolon. Um, first of all, you're going to use a semicolon between two closely related independent clauses. This is as long as they're not already joined by a coordinating conjunction, like and, but, so, etc. However, you are also going to use a semicolon to separate items in a list when the elements of that list contain commas. The commas can get all confusing and so we, we put semicolons in there so that it's not so confusing. Alright, so here's an example of how we combine sentences using semicolons. We have two sentences. We have, I like dogs and cats are creepy. Now, we can combine those two sentences with a conjunction. I like dogs, but cats are creepy. That's a conjunction. The but is the coordinating conjunction that combines those two sentences. Or we could use a semicolon. I like dogs, semicolon, cats are creepy. Um, when we use a semicolon, we are not going to use a conjunction at all. Semicolons and conjun conjunctions don't play nice with each other. All right, so see if we can combine these sentences using a semicolon. He lives near a school. He never has to take the bus. We combine those by putting a semicolon in between and changing the second sentence to a lowercase letter. He lives near the school. He never has to take a bus. The traffic downtown is awful. I'm going to stay home. Same thing. The traffic downtown is awful, semicolon. I'm going to stay home. Note that in neither of these do you see conjunctions. We do not use semicolons with conjunctions. All right, so if you look at these two sentences, you can see that the first is written correctly and the second is written incorrectly. Um, you are more likely to get into a car crash than a plane crash. Accidents happen on the road every day. There's a semicolon in between these two clauses because they are both independent clauses. But in the second sentence, my mom still wants me to call her all the time, but I want her to leave me alone. Now, we cannot use the semicolon with the conjunction. So the corrected sentence is, my mom still wants me to call her all the time, semicolon, I want her to leave me alone. You can use a semicolon with conjunctive adverbs. When adverbs like however, therefore, indeed, besides, nevertheless, etc., are used to join two independent clauses, you can use a semicolon before the adverb. So here's an example. I run five miles every day, that's a lot. Nevertheless, I can't keep up with you. We can separate those two independent clauses with a semicolon. You also use semicolons in lists. You separate the items in a list when the items are already separated by commas. For example, the students in the class hailed from Louisville, Kentucky, Denver, Colorado, and Newport, Rhode Island. We have to separate the items in the list because a comma is required between the city and the state. So we separate each of the items in the list with a semicolon to avoid confusion. All right, let's see what you've learned. We're going to do some practice. 
Questions on the ACT will be in a multiple choice format. So I have three multiple choice questions here I would like for you to try to answer. See if you can determine the correct answer for each of the following questions. Time's up. Here are your answers. Number one was C. Those two independent clauses should have been separated by a semicolon. Number two is also C. The first clause was dependent, not independent. So therefore, we had to use a comma in that sentence rather than a semicolon. Semicolons can only separate independent clauses. And number three is D. While we could use a semicolon to combine these two sentences, the only option that they gave that included the semicolon also included the conjunction and. Semicolons are not used with conjunctions. Therefore, the best choice is to create two separate sentences. We end the first sentence with a period, start the second sentence with a capital letter. All right, that is the end of this lesson on semicolons. I hope you heard, learned a lot and I hope that you have a wonderful day and do a great job on the ACT.